guys hi thought i'd create an art video for you today um instead of doing some um drawing like we were doing last week you're practicing your tone and sketching skills how about we do some fun printing um and creating some watercolor multicolored watercolor backgrounds that you could do some beautiful drawings on <coughs> or use them to create cards of your own you're going to need five things that you should all hopefully have at home so um a bit of tin foil to put your print onto. Now you can use cling film if you want as well, but tin foil is ideal. A variety of different colored felt tip pens. It has to be felt tip pens. Um, a cloth, okay, or a tea towel, which is what I'm using. A bowl, a small bowl of water at hand, ready. And some plain white paper. Okay, right, let's begin. So, you'll place your tin foil down onto your table in front of you and grab a variety of colours. Okay, you can skillfully scribble onto your tin foil. Now, I haven't got a tripod, so I can't really give you that aerial view you guys would probably quite like to have for this video. So, I'm gonna Pull it up and down every time I do something different, okay? Now you want the colours to be touching next to one another. Oh, but it can be really fun. You can do this in any way that you like. You can create patterns, swirls, shapes. Um, you can do it in a really abstract way. Um, all sorts of different ways of doing this. I'm just going to do this nice and quickly for you lot. How about, oh, let's do some green at the bottom here. Okay, right, you guys will be a lot more creative than me because you are all creative geniuses, but I have just scribbled onto my tin foil a nice variety of colours next to one another. I'm going to put that to the side for now, that is our printing station. Then you will get a plane of white paper, okay, put that down onto your table and you need to grab your cloth and your bowl of water. It is really important that you do this patiently and carefully, okay? This is what is going to determine whether your print will be good or not, basically, a successful print, okay? You're going to take your tea towel and just soak it, or cloth, or soak it into your bowl of water. Then you are going to Dab and press down, can you see what I'm doing? I'll put it back here. Dab and press down the water into the paper. Now what you want is for your paper to go almost grey looking, okay? Grey looking. You're gonna keep pressing the water into the page. Oh. Now you don't have to do it over the whole page. Let me just sort this out for you. And you're going to do it on the front of your page and the back of your page. Sorry, I was just telling Mr. Goose I need to be quiet. Okay. So front and back, keep dabbing it. Now you don't want your paper to rip, okay? But you also do not want it to be too dry, otherwise the print will not be successful, okay? But you've got a lot of time at home. So you can do this again and again and again until you are happy with it. So please do not be upset with yourself if you don't get it perfect the first time. I didn't. I've had to practice it three times before doing this video. So please do not worry. And it's all fun and games anyway. So, oh, your piece of paper should look a little something like this, okay? Like I said, grey looking. If you see any white patches, just go over again and really make that piece of paper nice and damp, okay? Not too, I just want it to really be wet. Right, okay, now, whoops, I'm gonna bring my tin foil back in. Oh, there we go. And then I'm going to carefully, oh, I can still feel some dry patches. I'm just gonna make that a bit wetter. Place my wet paper over my print. Now, 
What you'll then do, you're gonna make it wet again by grabbing your tea towel and just dabbing it over the top of your print, okay? And then, you can see what I'm doing, the colour will start to seep through onto your paper. Can you see? It's amazing, it's super fun. Right, this is where the magic comes in, okay? Oh, doesn't matter if your page creases or the tin foil creases underneath, that is where the fun comes in. And then you'll start to see, I don't know if you can, oh, where's my camera gone? Sorry guys. I don't know if you can see this in the light, but can you see where the ink's starting to spread and seep out? That is what you are looking for, okay? Okay, right, very carefully peel your paper off of the tin foil. <gasps> and you will have your print. Okay guys, so when you have finished um, your print and once it is dried properly, you can also um, use a hairdryer to speed up the process. I recommend doing that. Your paper might go a little bit wavy, but that's fine because um, it does take a while to dry. Once you have done that, you can um, leave it as it is. I decided to cut it out from a circle, on a circle shape. You can cut a heart, a star, whatever you like, or you can simply leave it as it is. You can then get a biro. I highly recommend using a biro. You can draw the pencil on top and then a biro, or if you're confident, use a biro straight away. And you can draw anything you like on top. You could do some really fun um, patterns, um, some beautiful de designs, turn it into some wallpaper for your bedroom, or um, you could draw some scenes on top of it. I decided to do a little um, galaxy, um, some planets, a little UFO, etc. But you can have lots and lots of fun. And actually, the back of the page is just as pretty, the way it's, uh, the colour has bled and seeped. So be as creative as you like. Have lots of fun with this. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with. And enjoy!